The genetic story of Jewish populations begins in the ancient Near East, specifically in the Levant, where archaeological and genetic evidence converges to paint a picture of deep ancestral roots. The earliest genetic markers that would eventually contribute to Jewish ancestry can be traced to the Epipaleolithic Natufians, who inhabited the Levant approximately 12,000 years ago. These hunter-gatherer populations, whose remains have been extensively studied through ancient DNA analysis, possessed a distinctive genetic profile characterised by a high proportion of basal Eurasian ancestry, a lineage that diverged from other Eurasian populations before the major population splits that occurred during the last glacial maximum. The Natufian genetic signature is particularly significant because it forms the foundational substrate for all subsequent Levantine populations, including the ancestors of Jewish groups. Analysis of Natufian remains has revealed Y-chromosomal lineages dominated by haplogroup E1b1b and early J lineages, genetic markers that remain prominent in modern Jewish populations across all major branches of the diaspora. This continuity represents one of the most compelling pieces of evidence for the indigenous Levantine origins of Jewish ancestry. Following the Natufian period, the transition to agriculture during the Neolithic period brought new genetic influences to the Levant. Neolithic populations dating from approximately 10,000 to 6,000 years ago maintained the core basal Eurasian component while incorporating additional genetic elements that would later characterize Bronze Age Levantine populations. These early agricultural communities established the demographic foundation upon which later Semitic-speaking peoples, including the Proto-Canaanites and ultimately the Israelites, would emerge. The Bronze Age Canaanite populations, flourishing between approximately 2500 and 1200 BC, represent a crucial intermediate stage in the genetic history of Jewish ancestry. Extensive ancient DNA analysis of Bronze Age remains from key Levantine sites, including Sidon, Megiddo, and other archaeological locations throughout modern-day Israel, Lebanon, and Syria, has revealed a consistent genetic profile that forms the direct ancestral component of modern Jewish populations. Bronze Age Canaanites possessed a genetic composition that was approximately 50% derived from local Levantine Neolithic populations, and 50% from Zagros and Caucasus-related herding populations who had migrated into the region during earlier millennia. This admixture event, which occurred during the Chalcolithic and Early Bronze Age periods, created a stable genetic profile that would persist through subsequent historical periods and remain detectable in modern populations. The Y-chromosomal landscape of Bronze Age Canaanites was dominated by haplogroups J1P58, J2M172, and E1B1BM123, lineages that continue to show high frequencies in contemporary Jewish populations worldwide. The persistence of these paternal lineages across more than three millennia demonstrates remarkable genetic continuity, despite numerous historical upheavals, migrations, and demographic changes. Mitochondrial DNA analysis from the same period reveals maternal lineages that similarly persist in modern Jewish populations, though with greater diversity reflecting the complex patterns of marriage and migration that characterized ancient Near Eastern societies. Autosomal genome-wide analysis, which examines genetic variation across the entire nuclear genome, rather than focusing solely on uniparental markers, provides the most comprehensive picture of Bronze Age Canaanite ancestry. Modern Jewish populations, regardless of their geographic origin or cultural subdivision, share significant genetic components with these ancient Levantine peoples, demonstrating that the Canaanite substrate forms the primary ancestral foundation of Jewish genetic identity. The transition from Bronze Age Canaanite societies to the emergence of distinct Israelite populations during the Iron Age represents a pivotal moment in Jewish genetic and cultural history. Archaeological evidence from the Israelite settlement period, beginning around 1200 BC, suggests that the early Israelites were not foreign conquerors who displaced existing populations, but rather emerged from within existing Canaanite societies through processes of cultural differentiation and religious innovation. Genetic evidence strongly supports this archaeological interpretation. Analysis of ancient DNA from Iron Age sites associated with early Israelite settlements shows clear continuity with preceding Bronze Age Canaanite populations, with minimal evidence for large-scale population replacement or foreign genetic influence. This continuity is evident across all levels of genetic analysis, from Y-chromosomal and mitochondrial DNA lineages to genome-wide autosomal patterns. The formation of early Israelite identity appears to have been accompanied by limited gene flow from neighboring Aramean and Phoenician populations, 
reflecting the complex political and cultural interactions that characterized the Iron Age Levant. However, these interactions did not fundamentally alter the underlying genetic structure of the population. Instead, they contributed minor additional components that enriched the existing Canaanite genetic substrate without overwhelming it. This period also saw the establishment of religious and cultural practices that would become central to Jewish identity, including the development of monotheistic beliefs, dietary laws, and ritual practices that would later contribute to genetic isolation through endogamous marriage patterns. While the genetic impact of these cultural innovations would not become fully apparent until later historical periods, their establishment during the Iron Age created the framework for the maintenance of genetic distinctiveness that characterizes Jewish populations to the present day. The Assyrian conquest of the northern kingdom of Israel in 722 BC and the Babylonian destruction of Jerusalem and deportation of Judean elites in 586 BC marked the beginning of the Jewish diaspora and introduced new genetic influences into Jewish populations. The forced migrations associated with these conquests brought Jewish populations into contact with Mesopotamian peoples, creating opportunities for genetic admixture that would have lasting consequences for Jewish population structure. The impact of these exilic periods is most clearly evident in the genetic profiles of modern Iraqi and Iranian Jewish populations, who preserve measurable amounts of Mesopotamian and Persian ancestry, alongside their dominant Levantine genetic component. However, the genetic impact of the Assyrian and Babylonian exiles was neither uniform nor overwhelming. Significant portions of the Judean population remained in the Levant throughout these periods, maintaining the predominantly Canaanite-derived genetic profile that characterizes the ancestral Jewish gene pool. The returnees from Babylonian exile, as documented in biblical sources and supported by archaeological evidence, appear to have successfully reintegrated with the remaining local population, suggesting that genetic continuity was maintained despite the political and demographic disruptions of the exilic period. The Persian period, beginning with the conquest of Babylon by Cyrus the Great in 539 BC, ushered in an era of relative stability and autonomy for Jewish populations throughout the Persian Empire. This period saw the establishment of Jewish communities across the vast expanse of the Persian territories, from Central Asia to the Indian Ocean, creating the foundation for later Mizrahi Jewish population. The conquest of the Persian Empire by Alexander the Great in 331 BC initiated the Hellenistic period, which brought new genetic influences to Jewish populations through increased contact with Greek and Anatolian populations. The establishment of Greek cities throughout the former Persian territories and the promotion of Greek culture and intermarriage created opportunities for genetic exchange between Jewish communities and their Greek neighbours. Genetic evidence for Hellenistic period admixture is found in the presence of Y-chromosomal haplogroups G2A, T1A and R1B in modern Jewish populations. Lineages that are characteristic of Anatolian and Southeastern European populations, rather than the indigenous Levantine gene pool. The Roman period, beginning with the conquest of the Hasmonean Kingdom in 63 BC, culminated in the destruction of the Second Temple in 70 AD and the subsequent dispersal of Jewish populations throughout the Roman Empire. The most significant genetic changes occurred in Jewish communities that settled in Southern Europe, particularly in the Italian Peninsula and the Iberian Peninsula, where Jewish populations mixed with local Roman and pre-Roman populations, to a degree that is detectable in modern genetic analysis. The Jewish communities that established themselves in the Iberian Peninsula during the Roman and early medieval periods developed into the distinctive Sephardic branch of world Jewry, characterized by a unique genetic profile that combines core Levantine ancestry with significant Southern European admixture. Genetic analysis of modern Sephardic populations reveals approximately 60 to 70% Levantine ancestry, with the remainder derived from admixture with local Iberian and broader Mediterranean populations. Why chromosomal analysis of Sephardic populations shows the persistence of core Middle Eastern lineages, particularly J1 and J2 haplogroups, alongside the presence of European lineages that document admixture with local populations. Mitochondrial DNA studies reveal a more complex pattern, with substantial representation of both Middle Eastern and European maternal lineages, suggesting that patterns of admixture may have differed between paternal and maternal lines, possibly reflecting cultural preferences for patrilineal descent combined with occasional incorporation of local women into Jewish communities. The expulsion of Jews from Spain in 1492 and from Portugal in 1497 dispersed Sephardic populations throughout the Mediterranean region, 
the Ottoman Empire, and eventually to the Americas and other global destinations. The Jewish communities of the Middle East and North Africa, collectively known as Mizrahi Jews, represent the populations with the strongest genetic continuity to ancient Levantine ancestry. These communities, which include Iraqi, Iranian, Syrian, Yemeni, and North African Jewish populations, maintained continuous presence in regions adjacent to or encompassing the ancient Jewish homeland, resulting in genetic profiles that most closely resemble reconstructed ancient Judean ancestry. Genetic analysis of Mizrahi populations reveals remarkably high frequencies of Y-chromosomal haplogroups, J1, J2, and E1B1B, the same lineages that dominated ancient Canaanite and early Israelite populations. The persistence of these lineages at high frequencies, often exceeding 70 to 80% of the total Y chromosomal diversity in some populations, demonstrates exceptional genetic continuity across more than two millennia of diaspora existence. Iraqi Jewish populations, whose ancestors trace their presence in Mesopotamia to the Babylonian exile, show genetic profiles that combine dominant Levantine ancestry with minor Mesopotamian components. Iranian Jewish populations display similar patterns, with core Middle Eastern ancestry supplemented by small amounts of Persian and Central Asian genetic components. Syrian Jewish communities, maintaining continuous presence in regions immediately adjacent to the ancient Jewish homeland, exhibit genetic profiles that are virtually indistinguishable from reconstructed ancient Levantine populations. Yemeni Jewish populations present a particularly interesting case study in genetic continuity and isolation. Despite their geographic location at the southern periphery of the Arabian Peninsula, Yemeni Jews maintain strong genetic connections to other Jewish populations and show limited admixture with local Arabian populations. This genetic distinctiveness, maintained over centuries of residence in Yemen, demonstrates the effectiveness of cultural and religious practices in preserving community boundaries, even under conditions of geographic isolation and minority status. Ashkenazi Jewish populations, who comprise the largest single branch of world Jewry, present a unique genetic profile that reflects both their Levantine origins and their complex demographic history in Europe. The formation of Ashkenazi Jewish populations appears to have occurred through the migration of small founder populations from the Mediterranean region, likely via Italy, into the Rhineland and other areas of medieval Europe during the first millennium AD. Genetic analysis reveals that Ashkenazi populations derive approximately 50 to 60% of their ancestry from Middle Eastern sources, with the remainder contributed by Southern European populations, particularly those from the Italian peninsula. This genetic composition suggests that the founding populations of Ashkenazi Jewry were already admixed populations that had incorporated European genetic components during their residence in Southern Europe before migrating to Northern and Eastern European territories. The demographic history of Ashkenazi populations was profoundly shaped by a severe population bottleneck that occurred during the medieval period, likely during the 14th century in association with persecution and population decimation during the Black Death period. This bottleneck reduced the effective population size to as few as 350 individuals, creating the conditions for strong founder effects and genetic drift that continue to characterize Ashkenazi populations. The consequences of this population bottleneck are evident in multiple aspects of Ashkenazi genetic structure. The elevated frequency of numerous recessive genetic disorders, including Tay-Sachs disease, Gaucher disease, and Canavan disease, reflects the amplification of rare pathogenic variants through genetic drift in a small population. The limited mitochondrial DNA diversity with four major haplogroups, K1A1, B1A, H7C, N1B, and J1, Accounting for approximately 40% of all Ashkenazi maternal lineages similarly reflects the restricted genetic diversity that resulted from the medieval bottleneck. Y chromosomal analysis of Ashkenazi populations reveals a different pattern, with greater diversity in paternal lineages that include both Middle Eastern haplogroups and European lineages introduced through admixture. This asymmetry between paternal and maternal genetic diversity suggests that the founding populations of Ashkenazi Jewry included both Middle Eastern Jewish men and European women who converted to Judaism or were incorporated into Jewish communities through marriage. The Holocaust represents the most catastrophic demographic event in Jewish history, resulting in the systematic death of approximately 6 million Jews between 1941 and 1945 and fundamentally altering the genetic landscape of world Jewry. The persecution disproportionately affected Ashkenazi populations in Eastern Europe, 
eliminating entire communities and their unique genetic lineages that had developed over centuries of relative isolation. Among the most remarkable findings in Jewish population genetics is the genetic distinctiveness of the Kohanim, the Jewish priestly caste whose patrilineal descent is traditionally traced to Aaron, the brother of Moses. Why chromosomal analysis of men claiming Kohanim status reveals a distinctive genetic signature known as the Cohen modal haplotype, a specific pattern of Y chromosomal short tandem repeat markers within haplogroup J, 1p58. The Cohen modal haplotype is found at elevated frequencies among Kohanim from diverse Jewish populations, including Ashkenazi, Sephardic, and Mizrahi communities, suggesting that the patrilineal genetic signature of the ancient priesthood has been maintained across all major branches of the Jewish diaspora. Molecular dating analysis of the Cohen modal haplotype suggests that the common ancestor of modern Kohanim lived approximately 3,000 years ago, consistent with the biblical chronology for the establishment of the Israelite priesthood. Ashkenazi and Sephardic populations, despite their different geographic origins and cultural developments, show closer genetic relationships to each other than to their European neighbours, supporting their derivation from common Middle Eastern ancestral populations. Mizrahi populations generally cluster closer to inferred ancestral Middle Eastern populations, reflecting their greater genetic continuity and reduced levels of admixture with non-Middle Eastern populations. Ethiopian Beta Israel populations, who maintained Jewish religious practices for centuries in isolation from other Jewish communities, show genetic profiles that are predominantly East African, with only minor Middle Eastern components. The limited Middle Eastern ancestry in Beta Israel populations may reflect ancient contact with Jewish traders or missionaries, but the genetic evidence suggests that the majority of Beta Israel ancestry derives from local Ethiopian populations, who adopted Jewish religious practices rather than from migration of substantial numbers of Middle Eastern Jewish settlers. Indian Bani Israel populations present a similar pattern, with genetic analysis revealing approximately equal proportions of South Asian and Middle Eastern ancestry. This genetic composition suggests either substantial admixture between a small number of Middle Eastern Jewish founders and local Indian populations, or the adoption of Jewish identity by local populations, with subsequent limited Middle Eastern genetic input. These outlier populations highlight the distinction between genetic ancestry and religious or cultural identity in Jewish communities. The spread of Jewish religious and cultural practices has occasionally occurred through conversion and cultural transmission rather than migration, creating communities that maintain Jewish identity while possessing distinctive genetic profiles reflecting their local origins. Contemporary Israeli Jewish populations show evidence of increasing genetic homogenization as marriages between individuals from different diaspora backgrounds become more common. The genetic substructure that characterizes separate Ashkenazi, Sephardic, and Mizrahi populations is gradually diminishing in younger Israeli generations, replaced by a more homogeneous genetic profile. The genetic origins of Jewish populations represent one of the most thoroughly studied topics in human population genetics, yielding insights that illuminate both the ancient history of the Middle East and the complex demographic processes that have shaped human populations throughout recorded history.